So now we're in a position where we can just sort of finish grading our um, uh, our our comp. Okay. So what I want to do is be able to grade this chair. Now before I apply a grade to the chair, what I need to do is unpre multiply the 3D image that's been generated by the scanline renderer. Okay. Uh, let's have a look here. There we go. So I want to unpre multiply that. Uh, and then what I want to do, and then that should merge perfectly fine. Great. And then what I want to do is put that through a grade node. Ooh, hang on, a grade node. Here we go. Okay. So that I can now then grade the chair. So I can kind of. Uh, a good sort of starting point is if I go control click here and then click on a black point in our scene. So there. And then take a white point and then click on a white point in our scene. So I'm going to select that. Okay. So that kind of helps us match things. And then I can kind of adjust the gain, uh, uh, the multiply, and the offset, uh, and probably get the gamma a bit better. Okay. To kind of make sure this image kind of fits into our scene a bit more. Okay. Oh, hang on. I'm not sure what I've done there. do that okay so I can adjust it to kind of fit the light there and the multiply I think the multiply is quite good because this this is quite bright this specular and I, I could I don't have to just adjust it here I could go into my lights start adjusting my lights I might want to adjust the shadow here a little again uh, and get that right. I mean, you know, there's lots of things that I can adjust in my scene because the 3D model is being rendered within the scene as well. Uh, uh, something I might want to do is, a, is a, a classic trick is just to add a uh, blur to it. Okay, so um, let's put a blur node in there. Uh, let's just blur it. I've blurred it before the grade. I don't think there's a need to actually blur it before the grade or after the grade. I don't think that makes a difference in that particular case. So I can just add a very small amount of blur just to kind of make this sort of fit into the scene a bit more okay so I can add a bit of blur there so there's lots of things I could do to kind of adjust that and make that fit into the scene in fact I might just go and make this shadow a little bit more uh, perhaps a bit more aggressive and I think I could really do with adjusting the shape of that shadow a little bit as well okay but I think that's a good sort of starting point that we've got there. Okay, um, excellent. So uh, that's how we can grade it and bring it in. Um, another thing I might want to do is just uh, perhaps bring in um, uh, also do my uh, saturation. Bring in a saturation node just to adjust the saturation again. I might just take that off. Let's do that again. Okay, here we go. Uh, just to allow us to adjust the saturation a little bit. Normally, you want to kind of desaturate things a little bit just to kind of make them fit into the scene a bit more. Okay. Uh, and then we might want to add some, say, um, um, some lens noise to that. Sorry, I've clicked on a, another window. Come back to this. So let's just. Add, uh, I think it's a uh, uh, it's a grain node that's what I want grain node and it simulates the grain of doesn't really simulate digital grain it simulates the grain of film uh, which you may want or may not want okay but you can kind of select from different presets uh, and add a bit of grain onto your uh, 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 into the image as well uh let's yeah you can see there's a little bit of grain that's sort of being added there as well okay um and that may be something you want to do or, or you don't want to do so if we just disable that you can see that the, that the grain is being there okay um okay um in fact yeah just d to disable it. there you are and you can see there's a bit of grain in there okay um, and then the final thing we want to do is add a um, uh, a distort to this uh, composition. So uh, we want to re-distort the whole image. So all I'm going to do is basically take a copy of this node. I don't want to clone it because um, if I... Hang on, let's try that again. 
Ah, I see what I've done. I've actually put a copy directly underneath it, which I don't want to do. Let's just disconnect that. What's happening? Oh, I see. All these bits are connecting to here. Sorry, I've just kind of caused a problem with what I'm doing. There we are. Okay, excellent. All right. Um, let's disconnect. Yeah. Okay. Then what I want to do is come through here. And I just want to basically add this distort node here. Okay. Turn the undistort off. And then what you'll see is we can then, if I press 2, we have a slight, it then applies that distortion again to our image. So that's how you composite a 3D um, element into a moving camera scene uh, within Nuke. Okay, um, so we've covered quite a bit on this tutorial, but I think that's quite useful. It's covered a lot of details that, that we kind of need to consider. Okay.